Hello, hello. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm very good. Are you ready to answer 73 questions? Yeah. Okay, I hear the echo. I'm feeling good. You feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling okay. good. Okay, <laughs> so first, can you tell me, let's imagine, we're in an interview, you're excited, you're a little nervous, you have to introduce yourself. What would you say? Um, I'd say my name's Keisha Sari. I study Chinese studies um, and I'm a good friend. Aw, that's so sweet. Mm -hmm. Can you give me one of your favorite life highlights? Um, my favorite life highlight has to be getting into Oxford um, and working for my student union um, this year. Getting into Oxford is probably one of the coolest flexes I've ever yeah. heard. <laughs> so if you had to make the decision again, would you choose Oxford again? Uh, yes, I would. Yay, good to hear. Yeah. Okay, so we all know in the movies, American universities are just crazy, filled with a lot of Greek life and parties and school spirit. Would you say that it's a similar vibe here at Oxford compared to the movies? Uh, Greek life. Greek life, like like frats and sororities and, and just red solo cups and parties? Um, no, it's not similar at all. <laughs> What's it like? What's the biggest difference? Um, biggest difference is I don't think we have parties that are like as big. Oh, yeah. fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. So what makes Oxford special? Um, the colleges, I'd say. Oh, what do you mean by the colleges? I mean, we have, it's kind of like the houses in Harry Potter. Um, so the different colleges are kind of like different houses. They have a different culture, a different vibe. Okay, which which college are you in? Um, I'm at Wadham. We're like in Wadham right now. Oh, we're in Wadham right now. Yeah. Is this your dining hall? Yeah, this is the dining hall. Okay, it's absolutely <laughs> beautiful. So you eat here every day? Uh, yeah, there's dinner and hall every day. Okay, and it's this fancy every day? Uh, well, it's a bit extra fancy with this, <laughs> with that. But like this, this side, it tends to be like this every okay. day. Yeah. Well, what's your favorite meal served here? Uh, favorite meal has to be like curly fries and like burger. Oh, <laughs> yep, sounds very American. <laughs> Rate your dining hall experience one to ten for me. Uh, six. Okay. What's the best dining hall on campus? Uh, probably Christchurch. I don't want to say that because I don't read the college, but Christchurch. <laughs> so, how many colleges are here at Oxford? Um, I think there are around like forty colleges. I think thirty-two of them are undergraduate colleges. Oh. Wow. Okay. Can you elaborate more on how the college system works? Um, yeah, sure. It's like, like I said, it's like the different colleges are kind of like different houses, like sim like the houses in Harry Potter. So like each college has its own community, its own culture. And um, there's like a dining hall in each college. That each college has its own college library, as well as like we have university-wide shared libraries between the colleges. Very yeah. cool. So, what are the different reputations of like the five biggest colleges on campus? Yeah. So, Wadham, which is the college we're in now, is known for being super lefty. Um, good vibes, <laughs> I would say. There's Christchurch, which is known for being like more right wing, more conservative. Um, you have uh, LMH, so Lady Margaret Hall College, which again is known for being like quite left wing, quite open. It used to be a women's college. Really good vibes. Um, there's St Anne's. Again, which is like another left, sorry, I just know all the like lefty colleges <laughs> I'm just gonna name. Um, so it's really known for that um, as well. There's also like Mansfield that also has like quite like a left wing reputation. Okay. I think those are the five I would it, name anyway. Is there any college that you purposely tried to avoid? Uh, Christchurch College. <laughs> I'd say Christchurch, yeah. There. What are the different financial aid packages for each college? Um, so I don't know for I don't know that for every college, but I know if you're like from a disadvantaged background, like most colleges do have like some form of like financial like aid or um, a scholarship of some sort that will help you. Um, so like at different colleges have different amounts of wealth. So like yeah, like you need like you. It's good to check for the specific college of what they offer because yeah, the richer ones can offer you more than the poorer ones. Yeah. That totally makes sense. Okay, okay. So how far apart are the different colleges on campus? Um, like quite far apart. It depends. Like you have colleges that are more central. So like Wadham, like Queens, UNIV, like these are all like kind of like near the city centre. Then colleges like St. Hughes, St. Anne's are more far away. So they're like 20 minutes away. I'd say the furthest college would be like 20 minutes away. Okay. So just so I can make sure I understand, you all go to Oxford University. Mm. Or, but you all are in different colleges and you tend to eat and live with the people in your specific college. Yeah, exactly. Got it. Okay, good to know. So what else do you wish you knew before applying 
to these colleges? Um, I wish I definitely knew like about the different culture and reputations colleges colleges had and like the financial aid like I mentioned like these are all like really important things to look at um, yeah I think especially for me personally like I think the vibe of people and the culture is really important and reputation um, yeah. yeah that totally makes sense okay what are some of Oxford's traditions that you like? Uh, I think trashing definitely has to be a big one. So basically when you do exams you have to wear a sub first, like as basically a uniform and like after exams all your friends like meet you and like trash you. So they feel like shaving foam in you like confetti, like all that stuff. Good vibes. That's <laughs> so fun. Have you been trashed yet? Yeah, I've been trashed like in my first year at the end of exams. Ah, so fun. So any other Oxford stereotypes that you realised are true? Uh, yeah, like unfortunately, um, I think some stereotypes I realize are true is like, mm, <laughs> sorry, um, ah, <laughs> sorry, I, mm, some stereotypes I realize are true is like, um, I think some people are just bad vibes and you just need to like get past that. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know how to phrase that. <laughs> That's yeah. fair. We struggled, but we persevered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you show me a little bit more of your college? Yeah, sure. Come okay. on. That's Amazing. Good. So, what's your all time fave thing yes. about Oxford? Um, all time fave thing, I think, has to be the people I've met um, and also just my course. It's just like some of, like, yeah, just really interesting professors, like, like learning lots, like, yeah. So you mentioned that you're Chinese studies. Can yeah. you speak a little Mandarin for us? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, uh, 我叫 Kisha. 我中文的名字是华吉霞. Uh, uh, wow, what would you say? I said, um, hi, my, Chinese, my Chinese name is Kisha. Um, it's really nice to meet you guys. Wow, I wish I could speak <laughs> <laughs> so what are your plans after graduation with your Chinese studies degree? Um, I want to be a history teacher, a secondary school history teacher. I love that. What age would you want to teach? Um, I'd want to teach, yeah, secondary school, so like from like 11 to 16, okay. 11 to 18, yeah. What's been your favorite class here at Oxford thus far? Um, my favorite class has to be, I think like modern China. It's just like we learn about like just China right now, yeah. S sounds like a cool class. Uh, so how many more years of school do you have left? Um, I have one more year. Okay, almost there. Yeah, are fingers there, crossed. Are there a lot of societies on campus? Um, yes, there were so many. Hey, are you a part of any? Um, yeah, so I was, well, I've been a part of um, ACS, which is the African Caribbean Society, like Common Ground, which is like a more activist um, society. Um, yeah, and like ISIS magazine, like magazines and like stuff like that. Very yeah. cool. So how, how far from home are you? Um, like about an hour, hour okay. and a half away. Not bad at all. Yeah. How did your family react when you told them you got into Oxford? Oh, my mom was, my mom just like didn't react at all. She had been saying I was going to get into Oxford for the past year, so <laughs> she was like over it by the time it happened. She had but confidence yeah. in you, huh? Yeah, yeah, she, she backed it. Shout out to Mumsy. <laughs> what but was yeah. your application process like? Um, my application process was, uh, like, it, it was hard, it was difficult. Um, it was a difficult process, like I didn't trust in myself as much as like I should have, but like, like I said, mentioned my mom like always backed me and I had really good teachers who backed me as well. Oh, that's so great to so, hear. Yeah. Okay, so if you had to guess, how many international students do you think Oxford has? Um, I think quite a few, like I would say like maybe like, I would say, I'm going to say the number 40%, but like, I don't know, there are quite a few. That's fair. So what percentage of the campus do you think are black and minority students? Um, about like 3%, it's not great. Very, very little. So who's your best mate on campus? Um, I would say Enric, no beef, no beef. <laughs> okay, so I just learned the phrase best mate. Can you share with me some other British slang? Um, yeah, sure. Um, there's like bear, it means a lot. There's peak, which means like, oh, like something's bad vibes, like it's deep. Um, yeah, that's all I can think of right now. Like. That's more than enough. So I know you mentioned before that your favorite food was a hamburger and french fries from the dining hall. Can you order a hamburger and french fries in an American accent for me real quick? Uh, yeah, uh, 
No, I'm not. I can't. I can't. I can't. Like, That's I okay. can't. It's a little tricky. It's a little tricky. It's so, as we mentioned before, there's a lot of Greek life in the States. Yeah. But here you said that you guys don't have Greek life. So no. what is your social scene like? Um, social scene is more, I guess, like clubbing, events. At Oxford, we, there were like balls and there were bops and like there were other like, yeah, things, I guess. Okay. Yeah. On a typical weekend, where can you find an Oxford student? Uh, it sounds like deep, but probably in the library. I can't like see. Fair enough, studying it up. Yeah. How often do people go out to party a week here? Um, maybe like three times a week, three, four times a week. Okay. Yeah. Are there house parties on campus? Um, yes, like not in this accommodation, but like in some of Wadham, like my college's second year accommodation. Yeah. What is a typical Oxford party outfit? Um, I guess like, I would say like a crop top and jeans. Okay, nice and simple. Yeah. How late do the parties run until? Um, until whenever, I guess like whenever people want to leave. How yeah. old do you have to be to drink here? Uh, 18. Okay, so in the States it's 21, which I'm sure you know. So since it's 18 here, do you think that changes like the party culture? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I, I don't think so. Okay. Have you ever seen anybody really drunk on campus? Uh, yeah. <laughs> If your school was an alcohol, would it be a fine wine, scotch beer, or tequila? Uh, I think it'd be a scotch beer. <laughs> okay, why scotch beer? Um, just because if we're talking university wide, like it's like it's it's nice, but that there, there like it's not the best thing, you know. There's some bad vibes. I <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, scotch yeah. doesn't go down easy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I know you mentioned that there's a library on every single different college's campus. How many libraries are there university wide? Would you say? Oh, there's so many. I would say that like maybe like over like 40 or something. Wow. Yeah. What's on your bucket list to complete before you graduate? Um, I want to. There's like a castle just out of like Oxford. I mean, my friends want to just go and like see it. Like we've always wanted to go see it. And, like yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so dialing it back to before you came to Oxford, was there any programs that you did that helped you with getting in? You would say. Yeah. So I mentioned Unique earlier. That's like a really good program. Like yeah, it helped a lot. Okay. Awesome. So Curveball, what's the best bathroom on campus? Best bathroom. I think it'd have to be like the ones in the new building, just because they're new. Yeah. Like, yeah. What year was, were they um, made? Like Built. last year. Like, they literally finished the building them last year. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what's your typical class size in Chinese studies? Um, in my year, there's seven people. Wow. Um, the max amount of students they accept is 15. But it's like, if people don't make that offers, then they're like fewer people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite alum? Um, I don't have one, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Do you feel like all socioeconomic classes are represented here at Oxford? Uh, Yes, but not not all of them are represented well. So like I think like working class students etc. like aren't represented that well and people from the north aren't represented very well. Okay. What was your biggest culture shock? Um I think like we just saw a hall, like when I first saw that that was a massive culture shock and other things that are part of that culture. Yeah. How did you adjust to the shock? Um I had a teacher who gave me some great advice which was that Anytime you feel uncomfortable, like that's a good thing because you, the moment you feel comfortable, you're part of a system you don't want to be part of. So um, that's how I adjusted, I think, just listening to that advice. That's amazing advice. At what age did you know you wanted to go to Oxford? Um, when I was like 17, like 17, going to be 18. Um, wow, so so finally, yeah. Do you think you've met a future millionaire? Uh, I think so. <laughs> I think I've met a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. Is your school academically competitive or do you guys help each other out? Um, I think we help each other out. It depends where you are, but like most of the time, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Do the majority of kids on campus want to change the world or just be rich? Um, I think like with anywhere, it's like half, half and half. Isn't it? It's going to be half and half. Fair. Do most graduates you know leave with jobs? Um, no, I, like, I think again it's like half and half. Like some people do, some people don't. Yeah. yeah. So Oxford has been around for like a thousand years. Is it perfect yet? Uh, no, not at all. So far. <laughs> Fair. If you could change one thing about your school, what would you change? I would change, I would like diversity. Um, yeah. Yeah. What's the number one tip for success here? Number one tip is like back yourself. Um, yeah. Oxford is in Oxford, a city of 150,000 people. How do you like it compared to London? Um, it's more peaceful. I like it's more peaceful. Yeah. 
Would you say it's clicky here? Um, I would say no, no I wouldn't, not at my college. Describe the best party you've ever been to. Um, best party I've ever been to was in London and it's just like good friends, like good music, vibes. Um, Any of yeah. your favourite parties on campus? Um, favourite parties on campus is like, we don't really have party parties on campus but we had ball, like ball in Wadham Gardens which was like one of the best experiences in my first, first year. Yay! So why do you think Oxford chose you? Um, I still don't know, like, <laughs> I actually don't know. I think I was just myself in an interview and I think for my whole degree I've just been myself. Mm -hmm. I like to say that, I don't know. I love that, that's good. Just always be yourself at the end of the day. Yeah. So do you think Oxford is the best university in Europe? Um, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> How about in the world? In the world, I think it depends what you want, right? I think for Chinese studies, it, it's really good. I think it might be the best in the world for Chinese studies. Okay. If you could tell your 18-year-old self something, what would you say to her? I would say, trust yourself, trust your ability, like you got this. Yeah, you do got it, and you will get it. Should everybody watching this video apply to Oxford? Um, yeah, why not? <laughs> Literally. Yeah. <laughs> That's the end of the interview. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye.